Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Urban Night Wheels 120. Um, got a little bit of a, I want to say a haul, just um, a few things I picked up. Um, haven't done a video in a while, so I figured, why not today? And I just got finished watching a bunch of awesome videos on YouTube, and I want to contribute. Um. Like I said, nothing major here. Just some stuff I picked up I um, wanted to share with y'all. I'm going to do a little bit of cracking because some stuff I want to see on a regular. Um, I picked up this uh, this car from James Bond 007. The uh, Lotus Esprit S1. I'm going to crack this one open. This has some really, really nice detailing on it. And I think this car should be seen every day. Really, really like this. I hope I'm uh, getting this good. But um, they did this car real nice. I really like this. Nice uh, tail lights and um, license plate. I'm not sure if that license plate is accurate to the movie or not, but um, it's good to see it on there. Looks really good. Uh, what else? I found the um this Star Trek car, the uh, eighty eight Jeep Wagoneer. I'll go ahead and bust this open. And um, I'm just hoping my video will come out right. I'm trying a little bit of a different recording technique, trying to get my videos as crisp as possible. Um, so hopefully this comes out. If anybody cares to give me feedback, that'd be most helpful. I appreciate that. But um, I really like this 88 wagon there. It's beautiful. I like it. I like the uh, the purple. And I'm not a Star Trek fan. I'm a Star Wars fan. And um, I have some Star Wars cars I want to show you too. Uh, I know everybody's been running into those. But I really like this. It's cool. Um, what else? What else? Uh, I'm not going to crack this one. I, I picked it up just, um, I, I guess, for the sake of getting it. Um, I didn't buy all of these. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm actually kind of tired of seeing the Batmobiles. I don't know how many different times they can put put that out. I think I have enough. But I um, found this uh, 82 Dodge Rampage with the uh, three-wheeler in the back. I thought this was real hot. I'm going to crack this one open as well. That is an awesome looking car right there. Death Valley. Not the most entertainingly sounding place. I don't care for the orange interior. Um, but I do like the bike on the back. I thought that was really hot. wonder if any... Are you um, excellent customizers plan on doing anything with that bike? That'd be good to see. Maybe get that bike painted up. Looking real nice. Uh, I grabbed this Mad Manga. I have the other ones. I forgot to grab them and bring them down. and showed them in the group. But I have the other Mad Mangas. So I picked this one up. I'm, I'm not going to open this one right now. Until I'm able to put it with the other ones. Uh, 67 GMC Stepside. This is an awesome looking Matchbox. Man, what, I think what Matchbox really uh, wants to do, you know, something realistic. They do an excellent job at it. Um, they do a lot of fantasy stuff. Hold on, let me let my dog out. It's in here crying. I guess he was tired of looking at Hot Wheels. But... Matchbox does an excellent job when they want to. I know that they do a lot of uh, fantasy cars, construction cars, and um, some of their things, some of the colors they choose are a little outrageous, but I don't have anything bad to say about this truck. It's got like a wooden bed. I don't know if, if you can see that too good. It's got like a wooden bed. This is really nice. Definitely going to put that up in a display with the other Matchboxes. Um, found these Fast and Furious cars. 
I do want to correct this. I, I don't care for the Fast and the Furious movie, so the uh, the uh, card art doesn't do much for me. But I do like the card. So I'm crack this open. This is the uh, 70 Dodge Charger RT. I drive a 2010 Dodge Charger. And um, I love it. I love it. I, I'm a diehard Mustang fan, but um, you know, Shelby fan, but uh, I love my Charger. It's a beast. And this is really nice right here. I think this is a nice representation of the car. It looks really good. I like that. Very nice. Another car from Fast and Furious 2011 Dodge Charger RT. I was upset because when I bought my Charger, the new body style came out. How messed up is that? But it's all right. I'm going to crack this one open. I really like this one a lot too. I love that, that flat black. I have uh, that matte black on um, on the roof of my car. Uh, my car is silver though, but they, they did an excellent job on this. The sunroof, the sunroof on there, it's got painted headlights, painted tail lights. I mean, this is everything I want in a Hot Wheel. And this was a dollar, excellent. Excellent. Got to take advantage of these cars when they do stuff like this. You got to buy them. Nowadays, they're, uh, you know, they're cutting corners every which way. When they do stuff like that, you got to take advantage. Here's a car apparently was supposed to be um, hard to find. I guess it was hard to find uh, last time they put them out. But, man, they can't get rid of these things now, man. This is the... Uh, 67 Ford Mustang. Beautiful. Love the paint on this, man. That, uh, that sparkly green paint looks real good. Nice muscle stripe. Nice and basic. Again, I have I have no idea. I, I gave up on Fast and the Furious, like, the first one. I think I saw the first one. It just wasn't for me. So, um, I'm sure it is, uh, it probably is an awesome movie for some people. They've done a ton of these things. And, um, last one out of the group I got, the 08 Challenger SRT8. I want to crack this open, too. Let's see. The movie didn't serve a purpose for me, but the cars, the Hot Wheel form did. I get to put something nice in my display. Beautiful. Like that. It's got that Hemi on the side. Man, I'm I, I'm kind of glad I don't have a Hemi in my charger because that thing's already a gas guzzler. But this is really nice. I wouldn't mind getting a. Uh, Challenger. Maybe next go around, next time I get a car, maybe I'll look at a Challenger. Hopefully they don't change the body style after I get mine. Um, I'm going to take you to the other side of the room. First, I guess I can, you know, give you a quick sweep of uh, stuff I got. Like I said, nothing major, nothing you haven't seen already, but just wanted to share. So that's it. I'm gonna take you to the other side of the room and um, show you what I got over there. All right, picked up the um, the track set uh, from the Star Wars Death Star Battle Blast. Um, I'm not gonna open it. It's actually on my wall right now. You probably can't tell from the video, but it's hanging on the wall. And um, I'm ready to go all in on the Star Wars cars. If they put out a track set, if they put out a car, I'm getting it. That's, that's what it's going to be. Um, hopefully, I can get my hands on the Comic-Con Darth Vader. That's what I really want. So right now, that is has become a grail for me as far as the Star Wars cars. really want to get my hands on that. It's going for a couple dollars right now. They, they want probably anywhere from $100 to $150. Do I think it's worth it? I don't know. That's hard to say right now. But 
definitely want to get my hands on that. So as of right now, I have this uh, this track set, and it comes with this car here. The name of that car, I couldn't tell you. I don't have a clue. But I did find the uh, other cars. The uh, Yoda. Yoda. Master Yoda is the man. Glad to pick that up. And not the best card art in the world, but I do like it. Luke Skywalker. Looking a little banged up. Darth Vader, of course. Gotta get this one. Saw Sean Holden's video. Excellent idea that you want to do, man. I think that'd be really hot. Um, Chewbacca. Gotta love Chewbacca. R2-D2. I can't wait to uh, get that two-pack with uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO. That's going to be really hot. Looking forward to that. Um... Again, um, this is all I have for you. Just wanted to share, make a video, I hadn't done one uh, since I picked up my baby over there. <laughs> but um, that's it. I hope y'all finding everything y'all looking for. Loving all your videos. Haven't had time to do much. I've been, my schedule's crazy at work. So when I get home, I really don't feel like doing anything. So I check out videos, comment when I can. May have to watch them piece by piece, watch a little bit on, you know, this break, a little bit more on the next break. But doing what I can, I am watching you guys' videos. You know, shout out to everybody in the community. Keep doing your thing. Peace.